In this video, we'll build the chat app using Svelte and Pusher. Before we build the app, I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use Svelte with any of these backend frameworks, I provided some links in the description of this video. Make sure to complete one backend before continuing this video because it is required. Now let's complete the Svelte app. Now let's create our Svelte app. So go to svelte.dev and let's copy this line here. So I'll copy it, I'll open my terminal and I'll paste it. So I'll change the project name to Svelte Chat. And it is cloned. Now I will open this folder with my ID. I'm using WebStorm here and I'll open the terminal and first we need to run npm install. So let's install all the packages that we need. And after that to run the project, run npm run dev. So this will run our project on port 5000. So this is our Svelte app. Now let's change the template. So go to getbootstrap.com and uh, click get started and copy the bootstrap link. Let's add this link to public index.html. I will paste it here. So we added bootstrap and now let's go to our source app.svelte. So here I will remove the styles and we have to change the HTML here. I will remove some other styles like these ones because uh, we don't need it also. And uh, let's add the template. So the template, go to getbootstrap.com, go to examples and sidebars is the example that we want. So I will inspect here and I will copy the whole HTML. I will copy this, go to app.svelte and I will change all of this with uh, the HTML th that I just copied. Now this anchor links here, I will remove uh, most of them. I will keep the first two. And now that I have the first two, I will remove the first one. So we need only the second one. And I will remove this SVG here. So this will look uh, like uh, this. So let's make some other changes. So first I will remove this style here. And I will add a div here with a class of container. And I will wrap this with this div. So now it looks better. So uh, let's uh, change this list group now to, a, to an input. So I will create here a variable. Let username is equal to username by default. By default, it will be equal to username. And uh, let's add an input here. Input, uh, the class will be this class. And uh, the value will be bind value like this is equal to the username. And let's remove this span. Uh, also, I forgot something, this anchor links now I will change them to div. So I'll change this to div and also this other anchor link, I'll change it to div. And this will look like this. So we have an input and a username where we can change it. So that is uh, completed. Now let's add also uh, some messages to loop here. So I'll create another variable messages and this will be equal to an empty array. And uh, we want to loop the messages here. So uh, each messages as msg, so as message, and uh, I will close the loop here. So I will close the loop here. Uh, inside I will remove this span and uh, this here will be message dot username and uh, this other will be message dot message so 
uh, that's it so it won't uh, we won't be able to see any message because we don't have any uh, but let's add an input here where we can write messages so I will add in the end a form and uh, this form inside will have an input so this input will have a class of form control and uh, it will have a placeholder of uh, write a message so it will look like this let's add also a space uh, here so we don't want the input to be here I will add styles here and I will copy this scroll area add it here and we'll add the max uh, mean sorry height to 500 pixels so it will look like this now let's add the variable for this message so I'll create another variable message is equal to empty message and uh, we have to bind it here so bind value message we bind the value we need also to submit the form so on submit we have to call a function which I will add it here so submit this will be equal to a function when we submit we will call the submit function so this is cleared we need to add also prevent default here because by default it will refresh our page if we type enter for the input if we add prevent default the page won't be refreshed so we added everything that we need now the only thing left is to add pusher before we sign in now you need to build the backend if you haven't built the backend go build it because it is required now if you have already built a backend let's sign in here you create a channel with a sandbox plan it's free and uh, let's go to scalable scripts chat and uh, go to getting started so uh, here we have uh, the front end we need to add this code so I'll copy this code and uh, first to add this code we have to import on mount from Svelte and uh, when the component is mounted so on mount let's paste uh, this code so pusher is not recognized we can either add this uh, URL but uh, I prefer to install it via npm so npm install pusher JS so we installed pusher JS and uh, let's import it import pusher from pusher JS and that is cleared also let's convert this to a constant this also to a constant and we need to subscribe the channel is called chat and uh, also the event is called message I'll change this function to a arrow function because uh, we need to access uh, these uh, variables which are outside of uh, the function and uh, when we get uh, the data which is a new message we need to push it to the messages here and I will do it like this so messages is equal to the previous messages with the spread operator with uh, the last message so we have to add it like this and that's it for the pusher part now let's send the request with the submit function to get the message here so I'll make this asynchronous and here we need to await fetch we need to send a request to HTTP localhost port 8000 slash API slash messages the method will be a post request the headers will be content type 
application json and also we need to send the body so the body will be json stringify and we will send the, the username and the message so i will do it like this so username directly and the message directly and that's it this is uh, the request when we complete the request we will reset the message to an empty string and that's it this is our completed svelte app now what is left is to test it in the front end now i open the app with my two browsers this one is chrome and this one is safari so now we can write messages so we can write a message here and it should appear here also we can write also a message here and it will appear here so this is our svelte app i hope you liked this uh, video and if you did please also share and subscribe thank you